Hello guys, welcome to another episode on Minecraft. Like I said on my last video, my fraps is still not working. I don't know why, so I'm still using an ordinary camera, but you can still mostly see everything. So yeah, all you, today I'll just be showing you guys how to make um, a pretty cool house. I know it's like, da -da -da, like you really need to know how to make a house like it's Minecraft, but I'm just saying, because some people really don't know how to make a good house, like they'll just make a box and call it their house and then they'll put a chest and a bed in it and it's not a really good house because you have like no room for anything else. So I'll be showing you guys how to make a cool house out of wooden planks and wood. So what I would do first, I would make it nine blocks long. Just make it nine by nine on all sides. The hell out of here, sheep. One, two, three, four. So just do that. Leave a space for a door. Try to be even. Uh, I like to make two doors usually, not one. And then take regular wood. And put that. On top of the wooden planks. I am on creative mode. Um, because I just didn't have a lot of time today, but I wanted to make another video, so I don't have that much time, so I'm just doing it on creative mode. Then use wooden planks. Of course, I'm only making this a one floored house with maybe a basement if I have enough time. But, um, you know, you could always raise your house, it doesn't matter, you just break the roof and raise it higher. So you can always do that. So then let's just get a door and put the door ready. Just to get that over with. And I, of course I just put out the regular wood. So then what I would do, I would, I don't know about using wooden planks or just regular wood for your roof, but it's whatever you guys want. Like I'm just showing you guys how to make an all right house. But uh, I guess I'll use wood because I used wooden planks on that one so yeah I guess we'll just use some wood so then we just need wood so just cover up the top it doesn't have to be like an insanely good house if you guys are on single player or anything it doesn't have to be insanely good it's just your house like Think about how much times you're in your house or out of your house getting stuff or getting supplies or something. So you're really never in it unless you're making something or something. So you can either use a torch or if you have it, glowstone. I like to use a couple glowstone because it makes it look nicer. So you could use either glowstone or you can make like a pattern like, sorry for that. Like one there, one there, one there one there and then two in the middle um that lights out your ha that lights up your house perfectly and it doesn't get in the way if you want to put something on the wall but then torches they can get in the way but they they, they do look for a nice for a, a cool design like if you put them all over the walls and stuff but you know it's whatever i i i insist to use a uh, you know glowstone because it looks nicer too so yeah that's pretty much how to make the house and then to the inside of it, obviously you need a bed. So you just find it by, not by, just get a bed. You can make a double bed, you can make one bed, whatever you want. I usually like to make a bunk bed because they look cool. But uh, there's, I didn't make the roof high enough, that's why you have to expand. So we'll just use one bed for now. And then to make the kitchen, you get furnaces, uh, crafting table. A caldron and a brewing stand. I you guys probably wouldn't get right in the beginning to start off because you have to kill Blaze, and Blaze is in the Nether, so it's pretty much not ready. You guys are not ready yet, so you could do that, and then you put the caldron right next to it. That's how. That's the design I put it because it looks nice once it's, your house is done and that's filled and everything. So you just get a bucket of water put it in and then there's your caldron so then that's that and then once you get the brewing stand you just you could either put it right there on the floor 
or you could put it on something. I don't know. I like to just put it on something, but sometimes I'll just do it on the floor, but it looks so much nicer on something, so I do that. So then you do that. Uh, what else do you guys want to learn? Oh, yeah. And then you take a uh, you could chest for all your supplies that you don't want to hold. You just put them on both sides like that if you want. And then you could take pictures, which is not very hard, but I will maybe make a video of how to make pictures later. And then you just put those, just put them on a wall like that. Put them on a wall. Uh, you every time you knock it off, damn it, and change it, a different picture will come up. So, yeah. And then also, you can get, like, ginormous pictures if you w really wanted to. Like, watch this. No, get the hell out of here. Alright, so then if you have a big enough wall, like, you expanded and you have, like, three, three, like, three or four blocks high, and then you put a picture, they can get really big. Like, look how big that just got. Imagine that in your house. They can get, they can, they can get like really big. I like how they get big, but the only thing I don't like is you need a lot of space for it. See, so like that one. You just need a lot of space. Like these ones are average. You could probably fit one of those in your house, but I, I love the huge ones once they come up good. So yeah. So pretty much it for this house, guys. Um, thanks for watching. Leave a comment if you have any questions. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks.